Okay, so I was looking- um, hi, first of all. I'm like that friend that you haven't talked to in years and then when they want something they send you like a huge paragraph and you're like, hey, just say hi first. So, I was on the internet and uh, I read that March- what day? March 26th is the anniversary of when Nintendo released Kirby's Adventure. That was back in 1993 and I was... a child. And yeah, I have my list of favorite games as an adult, but Kirby has a special place in my heart. This. Kirby's Dream Land was, I think it was my first ever game that I owned. I played lots of games that belonged to my cousins and I got a lot of hand-me-downs, but this was like my first game that I picked out. I had a yellow Game Boy Pocket and it was also the first game I ever became obsessed with. I was never amazing at video games and I always lost to all my friends and all my cousins and, you know, it kind of made me feel shitty after a while. So it was partially because I just wanted to be good at a game and also because, um, I just really liked it. I totally thought this was gonna power on after years of not- Oh, good! Oh yeah, you gotta put batteries in these things. This was the next Game Boy I got. This was the Game Boy Color. Revolutionary stuff here, guys! I played Kirby's Dream Land so many times that I got it down to, I think, it was like 40 minutes or 35 minutes I could beat the game from beginning to end. And honestly, I think I could still do it. But in honor of the Kirby's Adventure anniversary, I looked up some fun facts about Kirby and uh, I'll, I'm gonna share them with you. <laughs> so Kirby on the original box was white and this is because the original game was in black and white because the Game Boy was not capable of color. So even though Kirby's creator Masahiro Sugurai intended him to be pink and Miyamoto arguing that he should be yellow, the guys doing the graphics and putting together all the art for Kirby's Dream Land were like, oh, I guess Kirby's white because he's white in this black and white video game. It's so weird because they gave color to like the tree and the sky and like even that little enemy, but they didn't even bother to ask if Kirby should be a different color. So yeah, Miyamoto wanted him yellow and in Super Smash Brothers and Kirby Air Ride, we do see him as yellow. And even though I have fought people that he is white because that's how I got to know him. You know, he's like, he was my, he was my best friend when I was a kid. It was like me and Kirby taking on the world with our little Game Boy. And then all of a sudden he reveals to me, oh, I'm not white. But you know what I mean, it was like, you've been pink this whole time? Why didn't you tell me? This is my impression of Kirby. <laughs> Next, Meta Knight is a Kirby clone in disguise? What? Yeah, we've seen Meta Knight pop up in some Kirby titles and sometimes he's helpful and sometimes he's like kind of a dick. But if you take off his mask and armor, He's a blue Kirby. Next, okay, I remember this one. Uh, Kirby fans own a Guinness World Record. It was at PAX Prime 2012, and Nintendo organized this big get together, and their objective was to break the world record for most people blowing a bubble with chewing gum. I guess they had to hold their bubbles for 30 seconds for it to count. I could not have participated. I actually don't really know how to blow a bubble with chewing gum. This is what happens when you're homeschooled. Finally, and this one's really interesting, so Kirby's trademark superpower is that he can swallow enemies and then he obtains their powers. He actually couldn't do that from the beginning. He could not do it in Kirby's Dreamland. So again, that was another thing when he finally started to do it. I think it was in Kirby's Adventure. I was playing it and I was just like, what? You could do this the whole time and you never told me? After all the hours we spent together? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw you. Share with me your favorite Kirby memories. He's the greatest little guy. Uh, tweet me at Lisa Foils. Leave a comment on this video. Visit me at uh, facebook.com slash lisafoilsofficial. Follow me on Instagram at Lisa Foils. And uh, I'll see you next time. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe because, you know, my channel is pretty awesome. You want to be part of this.